Yeah, I can't wait for my first Blue Peter challenge. Just one thing to know, I'm not that fond of heights, so anything else in heights will be great. Yeah, amazing. Thank you so much. Bye, 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 bye. I'm so excited. <sighs> this is Teg's Nose in Cheshire. What a lovely location for a Blue Peter day out. So, I'm here at my first Blue Peter film to discover what happens when people get into a bit of trouble in remote locations. And that, my friends, is a mighty big cliff. But I'm sure everything I need will be right here with my two feet planted firmly in the ground. Oh, hello. Hi, Adam. I'm Kerry. I'm from Books and Matter Rescue Team. You're here today to help us on a training exercise that involves that big cliff. Ooh, well, shall uh, we go? Yeah, you lead the way, Kerry. Mountain Rescue England and Wales are the emergency service who rescue people that get into trouble in hard to reach remote locations. They have 49 teams across England and Wales who are mainly made up of volunteers. So these guys have normal day jobs too. When would people need to contact you guys? So if uh, somebody was out walking and they'd injured themselves, if they'd maybe got lost, got a little bit disorientated, if they can't get themselves out of that, get themselves safe, keep themselves warm and dry, and then call us out. How would they get in touch if they are out in the mountains, out in the hills, and they get stuck? So you'd call uh, 999 or 112, ask for the police, then ask for Mountain Rescue. State your location, make sure you've got some kind of, of description of where you are. But there are some things you can do to make sure that you won't need Mountain Rescue's help. If someone was to go out a day and take a little hike up the hills, what would you recommend they take with them? Well, first of all, I'd recommend that you really prepare and plan what it is you're planning on doing. Have a little look at the weather, what the forecast is like, and also tell somebody where it is you're going. And carrying some basic supplies with you can be a good idea too, like a map, compass, and even a first aid kit. There's so many things that I didn't know that you had to take with you on a, on a hike up the hills. Now we know what we should take on a hike and that if the worst did happen, these guys would come to the rescue. I guess it's time to see them in action. I'm super excited to see what Kerry has in store for me. She says that I have to take part in this exercise, but I don't know what this exercise actually is. Maybe I can be at the bottom helping the guys come down the cliff, you know, because that would be cool. But yeah, I don't think I'll be, I won't be going down any cliffs today. <laughs> no chance. Uh, hang on, Kerry. We seem to be climbing higher up this cliff, not lower. Wow, this is, this is high. And, oh, look at this fella. He looks like he needs some help. I better mm -hmm. let you guys do your magic. Not exactly, Adam. You're going to be helping us lower him down on this stretcher, down that crag. That's what they think. That. This is Neil, our team leader. <laughs> Bye. Come back. Come back, my friend. We always make trainees do an awful lot of training before they're on call outs. So you're going to walk a few miles in their shoes and you're going to lower Fred down that cliff on the stretcher. OK. You're going to be attached to the stretcher. You're going to be perfectly safe. Just to be clear, I'm going down there? Absolutely. OK, let's, let's do this. I'm joining the team today wearing masks and protective gear, keeping as much distance whenever possible. Having got all the equipment up here, they're letting me help get Fred the dummy down the cliff. There's definitely no chance of this unraveling and... Absolutely not. No? The mountain rescue team frequently test out their techniques at this site for training, as fixed anchor points have been placed deep into the ground. So, are you ready to go? Yes, I think I'm ready. Good man. The first few steps are often the hardest part of being lowered in abseiling because you're leaving the horizontal cliff top for the vertical cliff face. I'm going to bring the stretcher over and you're going to pull it out and just lean out, lean backwards, keep your legs far apart and flat on the face. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So just lean back. So lean back, keep your legs apart. Whoa! Whoa. All good. Whoa. All good. I think nervous is an understatement right now. Right, guys, I'm, I'm making my way down. I have to try and keep flat. That's it. Whoa. Right, nice and flat. Whoa. OK, come on, Fred. Come on. OK. 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 Sorry about the rough ride, Fred. I'm sure the experts handle patients with far more care. Oh, guys, that height. Whoa. 
I didn't think I could do this at first, but my confidence is growing with every step. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, I think I've got the hang of it. Probably because the groin is getting closer. Okay, down. Oh, so scary. Woo, I think I've mastered this. Down. Woo hoo. My feet are on the ground. Oh, my feet are on the ground. Woo. Well done. <laughs> That was scary, but you know what? The first few steps were the scariest. Everything else after that was a breeze, or at least that's what I tell myself. Wow, that's a long way up. Hey, it's Lindsay here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlist, like this video, and if you want to watch brand new BP, head to BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.